everyone and welcome to this week's episode of the high level release radar where we recap all the new releases from the week ryan here we are in dallas fresh off the jet ready for a big yeah. week huh we are ready it is going to be a huge week and we have just landed as you will see later on in the slides <laughs> we have just landed <laughs> it's fun we've uh the high level team has sort of taken over a hotel in downtown dallas i'm here with our vp of revenue austin garner <laughs> more teammates are just pouring in um it's gonna be a big week we've got and well and because of that obviously our big summit is this week i'm sure our releases for this week are pretty light because everything i saw had a label like do not announce yet yeah uh, it'll go live on tuesday tuesday right let's just tuesday. say i had to hunt through uh, a list of triple digits to find these ones so <laughs> <laughs> oh man Next week's release radar is going to be absolutely insane. Yeah. Um, let him, let me send us live in the group real quick, and we Amazing. can hop in to this week's releases. As always, if you can see us and you can hear us, please say hello in the comments. We love Sean Clark. Who's that? Sean Clark. That, that guy. Like that actually might be the real Sean Clark too. <laughs> Hey Sean, that's, are you in the house? Yet? Sean would say is woohoo. <laughs> What's up? All right, shall we hop into the releases? Let's do it. All right, let me. Okay, here we go. Release number one: Payments got an update. Tax inclusive product support in invoices and estimates. Yeah, everybody loves taxes. Everybody loves them. You gotta collect them um and it's your responsibility so this this is actually a much more it's sort of a broader release than just invoices and estimates um i think these kind of got torn apart but basically the idea is that you have a global setting you can go to under in payments under settings as you're seeing right here and then um you can go on a per product basis as well and say like okay well maybe this particular one is not included and and would go against the global section so you have some granularity uh, like, you'll, like you'll see in the next slide. It also works uh, not only with, you know, like order forms and stuff, but also with estimates and payments, which is part of this broader release. Awesome. I know yeah. lots of folks were waiting for taxes and taxes to get more granular and all this kind of stuff. So I'm sure there are a lot of people that are excited for this one. Oh, yeah. Uh, Michael is looking forward to the releases next week. Yes, we are as well. And I got to say, some of the ones I saw pop up this week were straight bangers. So yeah, I week, was thoroughly impressed and we've seen a lot so far. So yeah, it's going to be a game changer. So uh, sit tight. We're almost there, but we did have another update from this week. White label app customizer got interactive previews and a mock-up creator. When yeah. I saw that, I was like, mock-up creator, what? And then I looked at it and I was like, oh, that is awesome. You know, when you go to download an app, you see the preview images. Well, now you don't have to make it. Yeah. Uh, super awesome. It, it just adds to the white labelness uh, of the white label app. So if you haven't checked that out, I definitely recommend getting on that. Um, there's just a lot of really, really cool stuff you can do with it. Make it your own colors, mockups, all the rest. So you're not just one person in a sea of apps. Um, Absolutely. So that, yeah. That's, this, uh, do you have a preview of the I, new? The mockups? Yeah. yeah. It's the next one here. There, there we go. go. Check that oh, out. Yeah. How cool is that? Um, but it's also very cool that the updates happen in real time. So you can like build your app as you go and see what the different screens look like and all that kind of stuff. Um, as Ryan mentioned, it's a really great way to set yourself further apart with your white label of high level and be able to tell your clients to download your app from the Apple store and the Android store. Um, so very cool update. I was really, really uh, surprised and impressed by that mock-up generator. Um, let's see. We've got a couple more comments here. Uh, Jai rule. Hopefully I pronounced that correctly. It's going to be a great week. It is indeed my friend. It is going to be a very good week and a very familiar face. Anne Marie Waltz. Can't <laughs> wait for summit. I'm assuming you're going to be there. Anne Marie, are you in Dallas already? Um, if not, we'll see you in a couple of days. All right, let's check out the next release from the week. Dashboards got hyperlinks in text box elements. Oh, a mighty update there. <laughs> Huge update. Small, but mighty. <laughs> uh, yeah, and for those of you paying attention to the screenshot, uh, we're updating the copy on the action pull down. Um, as you'll see there, the target is going to be changed to 
same window instead of self. So that's my little update that I contributed. Um, but yeah, if you didn't know, you can you can customize the dashboard and then the 497 plan. Super, super cool. You can put in your own text boxes, descriptions, you can put in logos, all kinds of really cool stuff. And you can also permission those out so that like maybe your sales team, like they want to see a certain one, but you don't want other people in the company seeing financial data. Um, so again, just huge props to the team for making dashboards even better and not to give anything away, but there's going to be some other really, really cool stuff coming to dashboards to make them even more useful. Um, and you might be able to get rid of some other products you might be paying for. So stay Ooh. tuned. That's always, uh, I love when that happens. It's like, yeah. you know, you see customers going, oh, another one off the list. And yeah, <laughs> there we go. Consolidate and save. All right. So we had some other enhancements this week for phone system. We've got fraud countermeasures. Suspicious users now blocked from making calls. A limit of two simultaneous calls can be made to a single phone number from the same sub account. That's pretty nice. Um, who doesn't want a little, yeah. you know, <laughs> Fraud buffer Nobody there. likes fraud. I mean, let's get rid of it. Come on. That's right. Uh, I like that. We've got some crazy updates coming to the phone system next week. Uh, we also got quicker outgoing calls. Agents are connected to leads instantly upon answer. No more waiting for the recording message to finish. That one is like um, pretty big, actually. Yeah. Like, this uh, was like a footnote. Um, and I'm like, actually, we need to spell this out a little bit more. Um, really really nice uh you know quality of life update there for people that are using the phone system a lot and they're also flesh that out a little bit because at first when i read it i was like wait what does that mean and then i thought about it i was like oh wow that's actually really convenient well you in other words like as the recording is playing you don't you don't have to like then wait for a second or whatever it takes to connect the call that they both pick up at the exact same time what recording ryan i'm trying to tee this up for you here uh <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Man. It's been a long day. No. So if you activate, or at least the way I, I interpreted this is like when you activate the, this call will be recorded for quality assurance. Oh, the, whis like, the whisper message or, or yeah, the, call, yeah, yeah. The, call, the call recording. Yeah. 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 I don't think you have to sit through that anymore. The disclosure, I think the disclosure uh, compliance one. Yes. Which is great. Yeah. And then agents will hear the call recording message simultaneously with the lead. So this one I saw a note is for the call connect. Um, so if you don't know about the call connect feature, I've always said it's like a secret high level weapon. There's an action mm -hmm. in the workflow builder where when the contact hits that action, it will actually call your business and then read you a whisper message that you can control in the action settings. So imagine, you know, I'm Dr. Bob, I'm sitting at the front desk and I answer the phone and it's like, hey, Ryan's awesome marketing agency generated another lead. The lead's name is Sally Smith. Press a key to connect with Sally. If Ryan, aka Dr. Bob, presses a key, it calls Sally the lead and if she answers, it bridges the call. So it's a way to like proactively put your customers on the phone with their leads as soon as they come in. And now this update, although I haven't tested it, makes that whole process quicker. Um, so there's not yeah, really exactly. downtime in between like the, the messages and the connections, right? Exactly. And another really cool note that I don't think many people use is that you can use custom values in that whisper message. Mm. So if you have like a certain campaign, like maybe you did a mailing campaign, like, oh, get your free teeth whitening or whatever. You can give like context to the person that's picking up the phone. Um, so Absolutely. Really good for sales teams too, especially uh, they, to know the type of lead they're about to talk to. Um, I've always found that very useful for configuring that. A hundred percent. And every call just drives home, you know, the activity that you are producing for your clients, right? Their phones oh, yeah. ringing. And every time it's reminding that Ryan's awesome agency generated another free teeth whitening lead. Um, so it's a really powerful feature. If you haven't checked it out, it's in the workflow builder actions list. It's called call connect and it can be a total game changer. Okay. So quick week as we, uh, as we foretold, Right, we're heading into Summit where we are going to have, I don't know, a hundred and something uh, new releases drop next week. We have arrived, the team is all flying in right now. We're getting ready to put on an incredible show for everybody who's going to be here. Um, and I really can't wait. So did we have something to tease this week, Ryan? We, we do have just one thing to tease. Um, it's been mentioned before, so I think it's safe is that it's not like a true level up. But this would be the the mobile contact card Ooh. refresh, which looks really, really good. Um, nice. Big update from if you've been using the mobile app, um, this is a big update to make it look 
a lot cleaner, a lot more actions involved, be able to see stuff like documents um, and files that are particular to that to that contact. Um, so just way more functionality. The mobile team is just crushing it. I'm super proud of all the work they've been doing. They are crushing it. And that team just cranks away. So um, this does look really great. We've got a bunch of new mobile updates rolling out soon. Um, we've teased a couple in the past that are coming, um, not next week, but even, you know, Q4, Q1. Um, think loyalty, perhaps gift cards, something that uh, I'm super excited about. So, yeah, the mobile app continues to get better and better. And uh, and that's going to do it for this week. I think let's uh, let's head yeah. out. Send let's- it on a high note, just like George Casanza. Uh, Send it out on a high note, and uh, <laughs> we'll go put on a heck of a show for everybody this week. We hope you can join us. There are a few tickets left if you're in the area or you want to fly in. Um, there's there's a few left. I don't know if there's any more VIP like Anne Marie has, which is awesome. But um, we'd love to see you here. It's going to be a heck of a show, bunch of great parties, and uh, yeah, Tuesdays of the day you're going to see just an onslaught of new updates and high level rolling out. And uh, we'll try to do our best to recap them all for you next Friday. All righty. 